Is your personality costing you the job in job interviews? Well, guess what? There's a good chance that it is. And I know that's an unpopular point of view, but let me break down for you how some people are losing out in job opportunities because of their personality. First, let me explain that as a 20 year career coaching veteran, I coach people every single day on how to be the must have candidate. And one of the factors that we seriously consider is their personality. Now, do I ask them to change who they are? Absolutely not. Instead, what I help them understand are the strengths and weaknesses to the way their personality is being perceived in these job interviews. And I do it with a quiz that I have them take. It's free to take. It's called the Interaction Style Assessment Test, the ISAT. And you can find the communication quiz linked here in my bio. The reason it's so important is that when you understand the strengths of your communication style, you can also anticipate how it might work against you in a job interview. For example, let's say you're a commander style. You are serious, you're direct, your answers are very focused. Well, that's great unless you're interviewing with somebody who is an empathizer, who's more about connection and feeling a bond with you first and wanting to get to know you you are going to come across like not an easy person to bond with. And that absolutely positively can impact your ability to get the job because people want to hire people they feel like they can connect with, that they can speak to, that they can give coaching to, that they can give feedback to. So if you're not bonding in that interview, you don't have to be besties, but if they're not feeling like you're coachable, then your personality is in fact hurting you. Let me give you another example. Let's say you are an energizer style. So you're very um, quick witted. You're a visionary. You can think quick on your feet. You tend to talk faster as a result. Um, you're that team captain type. That's awesome. Until you're being interviewed by somebody like a contemplator who speaks more slowly, who's more measured, who's more reserved. That individual is actually having a hard time following you in the job interview. They can't keep up with your energy. It's not that they don't like you or that they think you can't do the job, but they're feeling overwhelmed by your communication style. And once again, they're going to be asking themselves, could I work alongside this person or would their energy level be a distraction to me? Now, folks, you might be saying, this isn't fair, JT. This is discrimination. Well, guess what? All hiring is discrimination. Let's be clear. There are a whole bunch of people that have the same levels of experience. So who's the best candidate? There's no such thing as a single best candidate. If you all have the experience, they're going to start to discriminate on things like personality in order to feel like you could be coached, you could be part of the team. So do not underestimate how powerful this is. And again, a great first step for you is to take that ISAT quiz, that communication style quiz, so that you can start to unlock the strengths of your communication style, but also start to think about how it might land incorrectly. So if you're in a job interview and you realize the person that's interviewing you has a very different communication style than you, you can tone down or slightly alter or flex your style in order to show that you can communicate with them on a way that is, again, make you feel coachable or part of the team. Do not need to change your personality, but you do need to be able to flex it and adapt when necessary. If you want the job, these are the kinds of things that you need to do. And for all of you that are going to come at me in the comments and say, I'm not going to bother if they don't like me the way I am, then I don't need the job. That is absolutely your right. I understand that. But I'm telling you in this competitive job market, it is way easier for them to pick somebody that has a personality match when all other things are equal. So just be mindful of that. Okay, folks, keep the questions coming. I hope this is helping. If you have a question around job search or career growth, you know what to do. Just put it in the comments below. Good luck. Go get them.